The last that I loved first of all Was handsome, young and fair We heard I spent some A couple of years ago I had an idea to uh, bring together ten folk musicians, ten female folk musicians um, to do a project around songs that relate to separation and all sorts of separations. Um, whether they're personal separations or political separations, the sorts of separations we see in our society. I think it's fantastic and actually responsible to get English and Scottish people together to make songs about separation, funnily enough, especially after the referendum. Before we arrived, there were so many different ways it could be interpreted. You think about Politically, it? you know, so, yeah, and yeah. you know, socially in terms of social and cultural barriers, yeah. and and on a very familial level, I thought I was going to write something that was very family based, but I haven't at all. I was reading one of the boards at the pier, which talks about the, how there's corn crakes on the island, and I thought, I know a song about corn crakes. It's just a really interesting topic. There's so many, so many ways it can go, and with ten very different women. I mean, very different approaches and just an exciting kind of melting pot to sort of jump into, you know. It's, it's different um, to like work to a theme or to be inspired by a theme. Most of our daily musical work isn't really like that. Um, we're all working in the sort of traditional medium but that's covering all kinds of things so it's really interesting to be to be presented with something to respond to and I think this place as well is inspiring us a lot. The idea came to me in the run-up to the independence referendum in Scotland uh, and particularly because I was travelling a lot down to England to play and, and do different musical jobs and I was watching the two different types of messages that were being received south of the border about Scot Scottish independence and the potential for that and then the messages that we were receiving in Scotland and it occurred to me that it's our job as folk musicians to comment on what's going on around us, that's what traditionally folk song has done. We've, we've all approached it in very distinctive ways, yeah. you know, there's super, there's a supernatural themes, there's yeah. there's um, comedy themes. Comedy <laughs> themes, kind of, comedy poignant, like the, yeah. you know, there's stuff that you could you could interpret in all kinds of ways. Mm. For me, the, the, separa the separation of my home, where, where I feel at home, which as a travelling musician, you get all the time because you leave your home and then you come back, and come back, it's all the same. Even though you'd love being away. I was kind of um, really interested in looking into the time when when it was that people really believed in these like supernatural beings and fairies and things and what when did that separation occur? Well the song I'm doing is kind of about um, someone, a girl who's been rejected by her family because she's become pregnant out of wedlock. So there's that kind of separation. Um, and also that kind of gender separation that she's only treated like that because she's a woman. I guess for me it was quite interesting with the referendum happening. Well, the idea of being sort of British and Scottish and English and exploring that kind of idea of identity and yeah, that was something that I was quite interested in thinking about. Well. My song that I brought, which is called Soil and Soul, um, was very inspired by a lot of the reading I was doing about the history of egg and um, yeah, and how like being here now I can kind of feel like all the stories that are just completely embedded in the landscape and it's important to hear them. I've lived away from Scotland for the past 10 years. I've got that separation um, and I long for Scotland. I miss Scotland so much. I'm quite interested in our historical gradual separation from the land and the sort of natural world, how we see ourselves is very separate from that and it keeps, the division keeps getting kind of wider and wider. My song is a love song really, it's a love song Obviously I was doing all the work behind the scenes prior to everybody coming to it and then when I came here the rule book went out the window on purpose. Uh, so that people would have enough creative space to, to really make this thing come together and, it, and it's, been a, it's been the most incredible 
uh, sort of organic process. So it's just given rise to a, a massive outpouring of creativity and, and some incredible music. When we all had the jam on the first night, yeah. it was quite clear that it was going to all sort of come together yeah. quite easily. There's always a risk element when you put together that number of people mm. with, uh, with different personalities and different sets of skills. It wasn't a given either that we would work so well together. You know, that was a, it was a risk, like, yeah, it's an amazing nice. amount of trust, I think, in the group. There really seems to be a huge amount of respect between all the different artists so far, and I think everybody is a little bit nervous about sharing their thing with these nine other really impressive people. Yeah, we're all <laughs> Yeah, we're all a bit like, ooh. <laughs> it's amazing, actually, what's happened. And we've had you know, very little time to get all the stuff together, and this is really the last creative day before we get into yeah. studio yeah. recording mode. So Basically, we've got, like, three full days to to put together all the, the material. It's great though, because it, it really means that everyone's quite, you know, you have to be really focused and there's a lot of creativity still coming out and... It never really stops. It's like, yeah, from when we're getting up, we just start something and then it goes on. Cramming some food in between and then yeah. go to sleep at some point. A lot of the arrangements involve all the musicians, mm. but we're each keeping out of each other's way. So it's that yeah. thing about making sure maybe all you do in one song is sing or yeah, or, do. or do something percussive. Before I came on this project, I, I noticed there was no percussionist in the group, in the, in the line of us. Ah, it's interesting. Or, oh, maybe that's a bit of a shame. But there's loads of percussion on this album, and, and kind of everybody's taking yeah, that on. Going for it. Yeah. And that's really cool, I think. All of us at various points are. We're using our bodies percussively, we're yeah. slapping our instruments, we're using our voices percussively. Yeah. Yeah. Hitting fiddles and using smaller percussion instruments. and It's, it's part, part of, the, of the music rather yeah. than just being another, another person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be harder to put everything together actually. And to get enough songs and, and to get the kind of depth of arrangement, it seemed like a kind of mammoth task. So. This kind of quite intense time frame yeah. for producing an album. Now, everybody's been so supportive of each other's Creativity, it's been so easy, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just kind of flowed really easily. Race, equality, and love. I think we've done really well in the time that we've had, and I've definitely created something really special, I think. So much more ambitious than yeah. I was kind of expecting. <laughs> Andy Bell was our sound engineer, but he's really helped us making 11 or 12 sweeties. A full well. album, anyway. There's just been this sort of pulling together of, of people um, and just such a, a joyful atmosphere and everybody has reflected to me, everybody has said that they've found something that they weren't expecting from somebody else, something really good that they weren't expecting. We're making a lot of kicking music, it's not, not, it's not all soft ballads. and free. And... <laughs> I didn't quite imagine it was going to be, I guess, as crazy as this. You stick a load of creative people in a room together and watch what comes out. And, and, and that's exactly what this project has, has been about. It's just so much fun, yeah. Yeah. lots of great memories. I feel like we've been living in this bubble for the last yeah, week. Yeah, I can't been... remember what I was doing like before. <laughs> I feel like we could come back to Egg and, uh, and be welcome. Mm -hmm. I didn't have set ideas about what I wanted to hear, uh, but it's surpassed whatever those non-existent set ideas might have been and the album will be out soon.